cats are not being spiteful when they pee or poop outside the box. They're just trying to communicate something about their health or their environment. Hey there, pet lovers. I am Kristen from Pet Living, and today we're tackling a very challenging issue that a lot of cat parents face. It's called inappropriate elimination. And in simple terms, it just means that your cat is either peeing or pooping outside of the litter box. Super frustrating. So if you've been finding puddles or piles where they should not be, you are not alone. Now, this is not just about having a stinky mess to clean up. It's a complex problem that can damage things in your home. It can cause significant stress for both you and your cat, and it can even strain your relationship with your beloved kitty. But don't worry, I've got 30 years of experience solving pet parenting challenges, and I'm here to offer you hope and practical solutions. Let's talk about the scope of the problem. Before we dive in, I wanna talk about how common this issue actually is. According to the Cornell Feline Health Center, inappropriate elimination is the most common behavioral reason for cats to be surrendered to animal shelters. In fact, a study that was published in the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association said that inappropriate elimination is one of the most common behavior reasons that cats are relinquished to animal shelters with estimates ranging from 17 to 48% of relinquished cats. So I think this just highlights how crucial it is to address the issue, not only for the sake of your kitty, but the sake of your family and your relationship. When it comes to cats peeing in the house on the daily or on the regular, there are basically three main categories of causes to consider. The first one is medical issues. The second one is behavior problems. And the third one is litter box setup and management. Understanding these three categories is really key to solving your problem. So let's break them down one by one. Medical causes. First and foremost, if your cat suddenly starts peeing outside of the litter box, it's crucial to rule out medical issues. Now, I recently interviewed Dr. Amy Pike. She's a board certified veterinary behaviorist, and she really emphasized this point. Some common medical causes include urinary tract infections, bladder stones or crystals in the bladder, kidney disease, diabetes, hyperthyroidism, and even arthritis, which could make it painful for your kitty to enter the litter box. Now, these conditions can cause your cat discomfort, increase the frequency of urination, or even make it difficult for your cat to control their bladder. And that's why it's so important that you consult your vet if you notice a change in your cat's bathroom habits, especially if it's sudden. Back to the Cornell Feline Health Center, they also pointed out that cats with urinary tract disease, they often associate the litter box with pain or discomfort, and this causes them to avoid going in the box. So again, this underscores the importance of addressing medical issues promptly. Quick personal story before I go on to the other causes. You know, I've been in your shoes. I've had a cat named Olivia who, as she was getting older in years, she started peeing outside the box. And we ultimately, through working with our vet, determined that it was partly dementia and partly stress that was caused because we had just moved from one home to another home. It was really challenging, but understanding the root cause helped us manage the situation better. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for new videos. I'd also love to hear your experiences and you can share your own stories in the comments below. Okay, so now let's move on to behavioral causes. Once medical issues are ruled out, we need to consider behavioral causes. Now, Dr. Pike, an expert in cat behavior, really highlighted that fear, anxiety, and stress are the number one reasons for inappropriate elimination in cats. Now, some common stressors include changes in the household, like a new pet, a new baby, or maybe you moved. Number two is multi-cat household conflicts, for those of you with more than one cat. Number three is environmental stressors, like loud noises or unfamiliar visitors in the home. Number four is lack of environmental enrichment. So this is like boredom or your cat having a lack of an outlet for their natural instincts. Now let's talk about multi-cat households for a moment. One cat might block the other cat from using the litter box, and it can be really subtle. You might not notice it. It could be as simple as one cat laying across the doorway or that cat ambushing another cat while they're in the box. And this is why it's really crucial to have multiple litter boxes in different locations when you have more than one cat. And remember, this is so important. Cats are not being spiteful when they pee or poop outside the box. They're just trying to communicate something about their health or their environment. Number 
three, let's talk about litter box setup and management as the third potential cause. If this is the cause of your cat peeing outside the box, modifying your litter box setup and the way you manage it just might be the easiest solution here. Okay, so let's discuss the golden rule of litter boxes. The number of litter boxes you should have is equal to the number of cats plus one. And this might even be an underestimate because in multi-story homes, I recommend that you have multiple boxes on each level of the home. I know that's not what you wanna hear, but it seriously can help. Now here's some tips for optimal litter box setup. You've got to keep them clean. Scoop them daily if you can, and once a week, deep clean the box. Secondly, use unscented clumping litter because most cats prefer that. Three, provide a large uncovered box, and four, place those boxes in quiet but easily accessible locations. You also wanna avoid placing the cat's litter box near their food and water bowls. Now, from my own personal experience with about seven cats I've had is experimenting with different types of litter and litter boxes can really be helpful because some cats prefer a specific depth of litter, a texture of litter, a size of box, and location of the box. Now, if your cat is not pleased with even just one of those things, they might choose to eliminate on carpet or in a quiet corner rather than in their box. You know, if their litter box is in a high traffic location, that could be stressing them out. Now, if your cat has developed a preference for peeing on a certain surface, like carpeting, you can gradually make that area less appealing to them while at the same time making the litter box more attractive. For example, put a food or water dish or even some treats in the area that they like to go. That's kind of going to make it less appealing as a potty spot. Let's talk about some solutions. If your cat is peeing in the house on the daily or on the regular, do not despair. Let's go over several strategies that you can try. Number one, address any medical issues with your vet, as we talked about earlier. Number two, reduce stress in your cat's environment. Look at your cat's home through their eyes. Number three, provide environmental enrichment. This means like a climbing tree, a scratching post, some interactive toys, or even a window seat so they can look outside and see nature. Number four, clean soiled areas very thoroughly with an enzymatic cleaner. Number five, consider using feline pheromone products. These reduce anxiety in cats, and I've listed some of my favorites in the description. Number six, in some cases, anti-anxiety medication prescribed by your veterinarian might be necessary. And I also want to address spaying and neutering for cats. Now, veterinarians widely agree that urine marking, which is, that's a behavior when your cat is spraying to mark their territory in and around your home. Neutering can be a really effective solution if it's done early enough. Now vets report that approximately 90% of male cats will stop urine marking if they're neutered before sexual maturity. Now, back to when I spoke with Dr. Pike, she really emphasized that early intervention is key. She shared a story about a cat who'd been peeing outside the box for 17 years before the owner sought help. And by that point, the behavior was so deeply ingrained in the kitty and basically pretty much impossible to change the behavior. So don't wait, address the problem as soon as you notice it. And if it's been going on for a little while, it's probably not too late. Remember, inappropriate elimination is a complex problem with lots of potential causes as we've discussed, and it's really not your cat being difficult. They're likely stressed, uncomfortable, or they have a medical issue that needs addressing. And if you're dealing with this issue, please see your vet as soon as possible. In the meantime, you probably have a lot of urine or feces stains to clean up. So check out my recommended enzymatic cleaners. Link is in the description. And if you guys found this video helpful, you might wanna check this one out as well. Also, please, please, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications of new videos. And also, when you like and subscribe, it helps me reach more cat parents like you to help them overcome some of their challenges. Thanks for watching, and remember, a little understanding goes a long way in solving your pet's behavioral issues. Until next time, this is Kristen from Pet Living, helping you make informed decisions about your pet's health and wellness. Meow for now.